Debbie Davis of 3D Communications is a digital strategist who helps businesses strengthen their presence online. Fluent in social technology, Debbie uses her background to help businesses get online and retain their local charm. Her mantra, bring your local appeal to your online presence. Tune in. Debbie, digital strategy, those are big words. Tell me what that means. Websites, all of that is digital. I don't think I know a person who goes a day without using digital communication, and that's the digital part. And we've embraced it as a society because it's easy and it's accessible and it's fun, frankly, um, but it's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. And that's where the strategy comes in. So the strategy part is a lot of my job is mostly working with businesses who realize that digital is here to stay. Digital is a really cool tool, but there are some liabilities that come with it. So I spend um, time with businesses to help them avoid some of the problems, the inefficiencies. Everyone knows digital it can be a time suck. And it used to be one of those things that was the reason businesses didn't want to use it. So we avoid the time suck, we make them efficient, we make them effective, and I help them avoid some of the other problems, the liabilities, because mistakes can be made and then there's some liability there. Great point about the time suck. That's really true. It's been digital strategies and digital communication came into play to make our lives easier, but it's not always that way, correct? That's right, because we just start chasing things. It's also interesting and um, it can just pull us away from what is important. Okay, so how has that changed for businesses with digital strategy? Now that we're using digital for communication, it's much less about broadcasting and more about connecting. It's much less about messaging and more about monitoring. It's much less about selling and more about earning. And these nuances make communication a whole different game these days. So recently you uh, started working with a business and discovered something kind of drastic that was going on with them on their Google listing, right? Right, actually it was a customer of theirs who discovered something that was wrong and he texted me from the bar that he was sitting at and said, hey Deb, something's wrong with their listing. It says that they're closed and I'm sitting here having a drink right now. So I jumped on their Google listing. Sure enough, their Google Maps listing showed them closed on Friday and Saturday. I contacted them. They were, they were kind of in a, a tizzy. They didn't know how to get into their account. They knew it said that they were closed on Fridays and Saturdays. They're a bar with you know indie music. That was a bad thing. So um, it, they didn't even realize it because they weren't watching it. And that's one of those mistakes that businesses make. If you ignore your digital, it can really shoot you in the foot. So give me some takeaway for businesses. Obviously they need to take a look at their, their digital presence, see how it looks, but give us some more takeaways that businesses can do right now to change things up. They can, first of all, look at digital as a consumer. For the most part, digital interfaces, digital channels are made for the consumer. So be a consumer. See how it works for you, see what you like about it, see what you don't like about it especially, and then avoid that. So that's the first thing you want to do is use it as a consumer. Of course, then Google yourself, see how Google sees you because other people are Googling you and you'll not then know how your customers see you. So those are two very easy things to do at first. If you, you know, if you see something that doesn't look quite right, then you know that you need to get on it and it's the first indication. Usually your customers though will figure out that something's wrong before you do and that, that just doesn't look good for the business. I love this advice, so empower yourself. And then of course, Debbie, I love the work that you're doing with clients. You are helping businesses and communities be stronger online, which is fabulous. I'm loving it too. I'm helping businesses bring their local appeal to their online presence. And it's being local that a lot of businesses are really proud of. So we're figuring it out. We're getting them out there so that the online users can find them fast, easy, and find everything they need to know. Boom, walks off the stage. I love it. Debbie, thanks so much for joining us today. It's been fun being here.